Hello, I'm back. Unfortunately, I'm back. All right. Um. So, what I was thinking was, since my last thing is, I mean, I can call it complete now. So, I want to do something interesting. So Desmos is like a graphing calculator where you can just kind of draw graphs and shit. But underneath that, it also has a very uh, interesting engine that allows you to code a lot of shit, a lot of logic. So I was thinking of making a snake game on it. Um, I ha I used to do a bit of Desmos before, like. Um, no, am I, am I logged in? Yeah. Yeah, so, shit like this, I did have tic-tac-toe, which was kind of functional enough, and, um, yeah, a few other stuff, ping-pong was a thing, game of life, Newton's fractal, Mandelbrot, so... I was thinking I'll get back to it. All of that was a very long time ago, so I've lost touch with the language, but I think it'll be interesting to try it out again. So that's what I'm gonna do today. Uh, first of all, disgusting white. Get the fuck out of my screen. All right. Uh, I... I have no clue how to proceed with this. Um, what I'm thinking is... Um, so, I, actually, I do have some reference, my older stuff in Desmos, so I can maybe take a look at that to get started. I think this one will have region and all that shit, because that's what I need, right? Here it is. UI. So... Okay, so I can define a range and then do range greater than zero to paint it. So let's do that. I don't know why it changed. Do this. Okay, wow. Why is it white? Please, please, dark mode, dark mode. Thank goodness. Okay. Yeah. That's, I think, is a good starting point for this. Let's go full screen. Hmm. <laughs> I should have planned this before I hit the start streaming button, but that didn't happen. So let's just do something now. Um, let's start by drawing a grid. I think that's the most sensible way to approach this. Um, okay. So the way we will go is uh, G, let's call it G, G, or fuck, even the name, I'm a bit confused. <laughs> um, okay, so first of all, we'll need a list, a list of all the points that will display the grid, right? So let's say here, if I do 10, 10 by 10, the first point would be 0, 10 and then the second point. If we're going this way, it will, the second point would be 1, 10, 2, 10, blah, blah, blah. And then the next one, 9, 10, 9, 0, sorry, 0, 9, 1, 9 and so on. So, um, actually, can we generate that? Maybe. Let's see. Um, you size is 10 you grid equals um how do we do this zero zero comma zero dot 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 you size comma <laughs> i don't know if this will work but no this doesn't work ranges must be uh that makes sense actually. Hmm. How do you generate this? 
let's see um let's take the help of our older code where is it let's move this outside so <laughs> i don't confuse myself this and this wow the squares gl glitched out for a second okay um yeah how do i generate generate is there a generate where did i keep my state cell board ah there it is hmm okay oh uh that actually makes a lot of sense so i can just have a one dimensional list of numbers uh ba 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 oh one second <laughs> my dog is barking at something not sure what i'll be back Okay, no idea what his problem is. He's just barking at his reflection. A sensible thing to do, I guess. Reflections are so scary. Yeah, I don't know how much of that the mic is picking up, but yeah, that's happening in the background. Okay, so what we can do is use size square. Okay, calm down. U size square minus one. That are because it's starting from zero, so it's inclusive. Ozzy, can you shut the fuck up? Oh, he can actually. <laughs> wow, I didn't think that'll work. Okay, it didn't. Um, let's try to ignore him. All right. <laughs> My God. Oof. Yes. Okay, another break, I guess. Still not sure what the problem is. <laughs> Let's move on. Okay. Um, okay. I cannot concentrate anymore. That's awesome. Love when that happens. Yes. So, um, the second thing I want to see is how do you map over, a, over a list? Because I know you can do that. I remember doing it, but now I don't. If this was ages ago, uh, it should be in UI, right? Because I'm, I'll be iterating over the list. And, ah, yes, I remember now. It's just using the list as an item. You, something. I don't know. I don't. I'll name it later. Um, okay, so I can do a create a point out of it. U grid, comma, U grid. There it is. We've got a line. That's progress. Um, now we just need to change this so that um, we're iterating. Uh, how how does it go? So. 
it's so the y coordinate would be mod uh wait mod is i don't know if the percent means what i think it means as a mod is that a function yeah okay a mod of base u size right yeah yes this is what i expected uh, that'll give us uh, y that walks upwards and for x what we can then do is um, x would be this divided by uh, u size <laughs> is that yes okay i mean it's uh, slowly walking towards the left uh, 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 so what is it flow yes flow we have a grid let's celebrate let's celebrate this moment by barking at my dog <laughs> he's confused okay um you you jack jack shit no uh i want to name it oh, which hey first time chat i didn't see that um negversa thank you for dropping a chat <laughs> i like it when there's someone to drop bounce the energy off of um how are you doing are you a Desmos fan? <laughs> Would love to meet one in the wild. Um, so, here, you. What do I name this? This is not U grid, I guess. This is U points or U suck. <laughs> U grid over here. I mean, this one will need to be renamed, I guess. U point you point again all right what crazy adventure negversa says yes it is i just celebrated drawing a grid Oof. it's it's been tough it's been a tough 14 minutes of streaming <laughs> Yeah, you grid. What do I? Where do I go from here? I think regions would be the place to go where I want to draw this bit, right? Uh, every little cell, so I can actually get the snake to crawl through it. So, um, you grid. Okay, you grid. I grid. I grid. Um, um, we've got the point. How do I do this? Um, I want U grid greater than greater than zero. No, <laughs> that didn't make any sense. Um, so U grid. Oh fuck. U grid dot x. Is that how you get the? Yes ugrid.x needs to be between let's create a range for this uh, cell no, u cell ugrid.x needs to be let's create a range uh, I'm not sure what I'm doing here but let's see where this goes um, does that make sense again with the y coordinate here 0 less than u grid dot y less than 1 and then we draw it by doing greater than 0 okay that obviously didn't work because 1 and 0 doesn't make sense but so if I am looking for a coordinate like 
say I'm at this point. Um, how do I draw this, right? How do I select a range for this? It should be between ugrid.x plus, okay, your ugrid dot, it should be less than ugrid.x, but greater than ugrid.x plus one, right? I mean, oh, oh, actually I did this wrong. It should be x. I'm dummy, I'm a dummy. Yes, um, and the same thing here, u grid dot x plus, um, is this one unit? Yeah, one. And the same thing goes for y. Oh, can you, can you select? Yes. Um, same thing here for y. Oh, <laughs> I've got a white wall of death. There it is. I, I feel like that it does something. I don't know. Should I go minus? Nah, this is fine. This is fine. Because it's all greater than zero here. Hmm. So we have a grid. Okay. <laughs> I was not expecting. I don't know how to confirm whether this works or not. Uh, actually, yeah, can we just see 0.5? Yes, that draws half of every cell. Perfect. It It's it's glitching out a bit because um, <laughs> Desmos can weird out sometimes. It's, it's fine. It's fine. Ignore it. Don't worry about it. Um, so we've drawn a grid. Now is the difficult bit. How the fuck do we maintain the gain state? So G. Let's create folders actually. Um, save this. Because I've lost a lot of progress in the past by not saving it. Um, here's the grid. Let's push this all inside. U point. U grid. I don't know why I did U. That's fine. Um, that also should kind of be grid slash UI or something. No, let it be. We'll figure it out. The next thing is, hmm, uh, state. Let's let's do state. So, what is the state here? It's um, the snake's tail, right? S tail equals, I mean, it starts with just one, I guess. Um, okay, so I think what we can do is, yeah, uh, should we, should we keep the 2D coordinate for this? Will we be able to work with the 2D coordinate correctly. I'm a little confused on that. Let's see. Let's let's just go with it. Um, this goes at. Let's just make it. Um, what is it? Pi comma five. There it is. There's our guy. Um, so. So how do we actually let's let's first just draw the snake. So phi comma phi, uh, phi comma six, six comma six. There it is. Oh, actually, it's phi comma six, six comma six. Oh, right, right. It's the other way around. I was <laughs> doing the y coordinates is top from top to down. That doesn't work. Anyways, um, let's draw. Actually, this is the same thing here, so let's copy paste that. Grid would become S <clears throat> S tail. Same with this guy. S tail. S tail. My God, 
This is so slow. <laughs> I miss Vim. I miss writing in Vim. This would have been so much faster with Vim. S. Uh, ba ba ba. Let's. Oh my God! You're you're pissing me off. You're pissing me off. Oh my God! I'm stuck in a loop. <laughs> Huh, okay, I um, got to where I went, want to be. S, uh, what is this? Let's, let's just, mmm, S, mmm. So here, S, mmm, is, let's have less M's inside it because I don't know, I wouldn't be able to remember how many M's there are. Uh, S, M, greater than, zero we get a snake there we go we have it guys we have a snake he's tiny but he is a snake <laughs> what what else can i say about him um actually i also maybe want to give it a different color is that possible um no i can't do that separately that's fine that's fine let's not worry about that um we've got a snake hooray um all right we've drawn a snake i don't know how many more times i can say that before <laughs> i know what to do next um let's give it a different color procrastinating not having to deal with the complexity of state. Uh, oh, the grid. I can make the grid disappear. Let's make it what looks better. What combination of colors would look decent? Let's give it something dark here and light here. Procrastinator of the highest degree. Opacity. Where is the opacity? Is it fill? One. Yes. Done. Okay. No more coloring. I'm kind of done with coloring now. Um, now, now is the state bit. I want to um how do i let's write an action first um a step so uh is it this way i don't remember uh let's do let's do a simple example t equals zero and i want a step to increment t to one how do i write that Mm, again, reference. Oh, I can just no. Uh, blah, 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 blah. G running arrow one. G reset. Let's look at G reset. Okay, so it is that. I give it a flag and okay so this is how you do it I guess one okay so if I do that t changes to one and if I want to do a conditional here I can do t less than oh okay t less than one is I should zoom in maybe I don't know if this is clear enough yeah this is more legible i think yeah so if t is less than one we set it to one otherwise we set it to zero yes we've got a toggle we are making no progress actually <laughs> this was just to uh, get an idea of how this um, actions work here so let's actually write the action now um yes so what we want to do here is Actually, uh, before we get to that, we should also try out 
uh, working with a list. So we've got a list. What I want to do here now is um, increment every number by one. There it is. Does Isn't that awesome? Oh. I really enjoyed doing this back in the days, back in the in the ye old days of youth, like two years ago, I think. <laughs> but yes, um, so we can just get the state here as tail. Set that to oh, actually. Um, let's continue working on the example now. Uh, how do we, because in the snake, when we add, when we're moving forward, what we want is for the tail to move to the state of the previous item. So to do that, how can we access the the previous element right um is there a way to do that i don't uh okay i'll have to open up some reference for this help <laughs> help is right regressions restrictions sliders user guide everything everything give me everything okay that's what are these all oh these are like guides to nah this is going to take a while <laughs> i want to do that okay what is this these are the functions available that's awesome keyboard shortcuts that's great actually so um Okay, can I use like a temporary variable here? Oh, where am I? Oh, <laughs> I got lost for a second there. Mommy, help! <laughs> I'm lost. Okay, um, what I was saying was, uh, can I have something like P equals... Uh, can I get the first element here? P0? P1, yes. Uh, like Lua, this is also one indexed. And that's, oh, it hurts to see when that happens. All right, we've got T to T plus one. Oh, actually, yeah, uh, this is why we can just do one to that size, right? Which makes a lot more sense. Doesn't it? No, no, because my coordinates are zero to. Okay, my dog destroyed something. <laughs> break time I'll be back in a second Okay, I'm back again. Why? I do not know. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Where were we? All right. So we were thinking about the previous item, right? So let's do zero here. I think I don't know. And um, here we can also do P is P plus one, right? So I'm incrementing the index or index. And at the same time, actually P will have to be one because again, zero index. Um, and here, what I can do is P, 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 because 
P is the previous index. Oh wait, P is the current index in that case. Uh, so when I run this, oh no, actually, yeah, this doesn't work. <laughs> Sorry about that. This doesn't work. Oh, struggle. The struggle. Mm, when I run this, I get P2, but yeah, that doesn't help. Nah, this was a shit idea. Who suggested it? Who was it? Who was the dumbass that suggested this idea? It was me. It was me all along. <laughs> Is there anything that'll help? Nah. Is there a way to... So how do you do a series, right? A series of numbers. Can I create an equation that... Nah, that doesn't make sense. What can I do? I mean, on every iteration, it kind of increments it by P. That doesn't help, though. Fuck. So uh, maybe we can write a function that gives me this result. Um, say a or oh, fn, <laughs> I guess. It said a but typed f. So um, f is uh, t. Okay, so I'll get some value. And what I need to do with that is, um, nah, that doesn't work either. Yeah, unfortunate. Again, let's go through the <laughs> reference, my old project. So I can get some inspiration slash steal. Uh, yeah, that all makes sense. Actually, yeah, this is a game of life, right? So this has to have something in here that references a, an old index. We state. Okay, G next. C alive. What is C alive? Where is where is this C alive you speak of? Cell. C neighbor. Oh. So how exactly am I doing that then? B state is... What the fuck? This makes... This... What? B state is a list. C is zero. Okay, C... Okay, again, again. <laughs> Repeat. B state becomes B state if C alive is three, 
it's b state is going to be 1 what is b state board state what <laughs> cli is okay i am very very confused b size b size this all references b size but the neighbor references b list and b state but c alive is uh, an array can you just go to the sound yeah hmm funkiness some funkiness going on here god is there anyone who can help this poor man if this poor man is struggling give me some documentation learn desmos let's go to the tutorial I'm not smart enough to figure everything out here convert to table lists Let's start by defining a list with three elements. To do that, we'll need a list name like A. Square find them on the A. Sometimes it's better to Fast show forward. It. Let's type y equals in three graphs. Desmos creates a graph. You automatically yes. and for C, let's start at 10 and count by five A to work in an equation. Let's use list B in an ordered pair like this. Oh, that's kinda neat. I didn't know. The result of the ordered pairs. It completed the series or whatever. Like this. That's neat. As well as use them for a variety of statistical oh, operations. I didn't know that like either. Total of list C. I'm learning so much. You can find more how to but not what I need to well learn. Our collection of Everything I don't need to know about Desmos. Points. Is well, that relevant? Video tip for pointing in the coordinate plane with a comma, like for oh, points this in just... a single expression. As well as our collection Point. of interactive tours at learn.desmos.com. Okay. Nah. Welcome to a quick video tutorial on. Thank you. Thank you, tutorial man. We love you. But that's not what we're looking for. Um. Alright. So. Is there a hacky way to do this? You know, like. Um. Maybe. I okay so let's say I give this one um, a V and um, index or an L and an index right so what I can then do is oh I don't know if this works let's see let's see and then what I can do is L set that to L index sorry L index uh, the previous one minus one right so if I then oh I don't have the index here right um, what else can I do in this situation F L I oh sorry F P uh, and then uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Ah, my brain it hurts Hmm. Again, reading back the reference, maybe something hits. Where was the C cell C alive thing? C alive.
Okay, so C alive is a representation of every uh, of the sum of whether each cell is alive or not. Uh, so can we have something like that where C or <laughs> not C but some list can we create a representation of what a shifted version of that list would look like? Hmm. Actually, let's... Uh, documentation. Is there a shift? <laughs> that would be a good place to start. No, there isn't. Um... In the list, all of these guys deal with lists, but nah. Can I? What's a good approach for this? Um, is there anything else that'll let me? No, that's not good. All right, that's not helpful. Hmm. Actually, let's let's go step by step. I don't know why I decided to just jump into movement already. Let's do um, snake uh, eat. <laughs> this makes sure that the snake eats and stays healthy and all. S tail. Uh, becomes as tail oh I don't even know whether I can append to a list can I um, this guy and comma another item zero comma zero no this doesn't work cannot store a point in a list Cannot, cannot store a list of points in a list. That makes sense. Can I do something cheesy like this? <laughs> no. <laughs> that was too much to ask. Is there a concat? You're not complaining yet. I mean, you are complaining here, but you're not. T e can't be used as a function. Oh, and these are <laughs> individual variables. God. This is more confusing than I expected to deal with. Mm. These are all fixed length arrays. It's fixed length lists. So I don't know how we'll be able to append, right? Uh, instead what we can do is instead of appending we can create a fixed length list of the entire grid. Genius! You're a fucking genius! Holy fucking shit! You're a fucking genius! Or, uh, yeah, yeah, I think that'll work, right? Just, um, zero dot dot, dot uh, grid size. Was that it? Is there no grid size? Oh, you, my god. Why, why did I name it you? I'm just confusing myself. Size. It lost. G. G. Oh. Again, I miss Wim so much. It was so nice to me, but I took it for granted. Now I'm here, writing in this terrible, terrible editor. Great tool, but terrible editor. Oh, shit. The sky also becomes G. Perfect. We've got our thing back. And um, this is also G. G size. 11 elements. 11, okay, not 11 elements, I need, oh, I can just do, um, 
B list or was was that it? Sorry, not B. <laughs> I'm getting confused between projects. G list. Uh, what? What do you mean? Oh, G. I named it G point. That makes no sense. G uh, point is that also doesn't make sense. But okay, let's just, let's just go with G list. Ah. Uh, I'm wa wasting precious moments of my life doing this. What am I doing? What is all of this? G list, yeah. Okay, so S tail is G list, but every item is G list, comma G list. No, that's not what I wanted, but okay, doesn't matter. Zero comma G list, or um, how do I include G list but not include G list? Uh, G list is um, conditional. Uh, G list, if G list is greater than zero, let's make it zero, L zero. Does that yeah yeah that that worked? Okay. I mean I I don't know how else to do this because I want to include G list so that the the Desmos calculator knows that um this is supposed to be a list and I also want each item to be zero. This seems to be the only way to do that right now, but yeah, that works. If it works, don't question it. Um, S. One second, break time. No clue what is happening with my dog. He is so extra today. Drinking water, hydration time. Oh wait, hydration screen. Oh my god. Oh my god, I need to switch. Where is the hydration screen? I can't drink water without it. Okay, hydration time. And I'm back. Okay. So now, what was I doing? What was I doing? Uh, tail. Yes. So now we have a fixed list of that many elements. Um, one way to make sure that we don't Oh, can I slice a list? Oh, let's let's try that because that will make some of the things that I'm thinking of easier. Uh, one, two, oh, one, two, three, four, five, whatever. P or P equals P uh, zero to one two elements. Okay, one comma two. Can I see the value? You said you say two elements, but I want to know wh what two elements I'm getting here. I mean, I'm assuming it's one and two. But if I did this, or this, okay, three elements, four elements, five elements. Okay, I'm assuming 
you know what I mean? But I can't be sure if you don't tell me. Okay, actually, let's just use the list that we know the values of, which is glist. That didn't help. That didn't help one bit. G grid. That'll give us a list of points. All right. Where is this? Let's. Okay, this one. This line. The brown points. There are more brown points than that. Shit. <laughs> that wasn't helpful. Let's make it pink. Yes. Yes. That worked. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Luckily, no more mess. Oh wait, what was that? I forgot. Oh no, what did I do? What did I do? What did I do? No, everything's fine. Okay, so now I can uh, set the number of active items. So say S active equals at first only um one is active and then i can write an action saying eat which i wanted to do uh how do i move this inside yes eat and i give it okay i don't need to give it anything right oh i need to give it uh, I need to give it a point. No, I don't need to do anything. Let's <laughs> let's not worry about that. Um. Oh, actually, if I want to eat, I also want to shift. So that's not really all that helpful because eating would be shifting the list adding the last point right um anyways for now i think this would be fine so first of all we'll be incrementing active because active is the list of active is the number of points or the number of uh what is it called snake cells <laughs> snake Bo boxes something uh, yeah so we increment that by one and we also I mean in addition to this we'll also have to set the last item that we want to set for now this is fine I don't want to deal with that yet um, and we will also have S body I'm naming these terribly, but uh, for now it's fine. As tail, and this is why I was asking about slicing because now I can just do as tail as active. So this is a list of one element. It, I don't know why it's not telling me that. Shouldn't it give me that information here? I'm a bit nervous about this doesn't matter uh yes so and here instead of doing all the elements in the tail i need to name the, these better i think as body is fine so i'm just gonna go with that as tail will have to be renamed as body as body again Okay, so this is, I, I still don't see the number of items available here, but I don't know why that's gone. I can't see the number of active items or anything. Anyways, um, we've got a list of, I'm assuming, two elements. Let's do, yeah, let's do G list. Come on, G list. 
Okay, there's only one item. So if I run this now, I'll get two items. Three items. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yay! And that almost turned into a song. Um, yes, so this is what I want. But now the issue is... Um, oh, actually, this is problematic. Because... Uh, S tail or S cells. <laughs> I think that's slightly more appropriate, but still terrible naming. S cells, right now, S cells is dynamic. I don't want that. I want it to be static because I'm de making that my state and I'll mu be mutating it. So, uh, what I can do here is have. Uh, S reset which will be an action which which would essentially set my cell to this right so initially I run this and I get this so that becomes my state so every time I want to reset I can do that and then I can mutate the cells list to get whatever I want but now again it becomes zero because I don't want that. All right. And uh, reset would also have to do as active becomes one. Uh, for now it's one, which would be the case here as well. Let's move this guy up here because these two are the things that, are, that we're mutating and this is the action these things are the drawing thing this also yeah this these two will have to move somewhere else because this deals with the ui aspect of it but yeah this is fine um Cells, cells actor. All right. So, what? How do we? Yeah, back to the question of how do we shift um, the stuff inside it. So, let's see. Let's let's create a shifted rep representation of the list, or cycled representation of the list, right? But uh, is it? If I shift it, I mean, it depends on which direction it's going, but yeah. So I be essentially zero to uh, S active or one to S active will move up. A sp I touched the mic. I don't know what that sounded like, but <laughs> sorry for that. Um, so yeah, what I was saying was, in S cells, uh, I take one to S active and I move it one place up. So the new list would have the first place as uh, whatever the next cell that we're moving to is. So S shift or as next would be I give it the point or do I yeah I give it some point and okay another break dealing with a dog when you're home alone is painful
Oh, he is in a mood of mass destruction. He is going to destroy every single piece of furniture I've got in my house. He won't rest until all of it's, it's gone. Okay, so what I was thinking of was I can do P comma um, and the slice of it which is S body. Oh, that might screw things up. I may have to do it differently. But yeah, um, can I do that? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, is there a way to do this? Have a list concatenate. Let's actually, can we Google this? Um, yeah, let's Google this. Uh, Desmos concat list. Combine two lists into one. Thank you. It's really hard to find support, so I'm surprised there is something here. A graph team has function for that. Okay, can I yoink this now? Oh, this is the wrong wrong place to do that. Uh, let's add it here. What the fuck? How do they do it? Okay, so they create a new list. Oh, they, they use some. Oh, that's kind of smart. Hey, that's that's really neat. Oh, in that case, well, <laughs> he's in a mood, I guess. But yeah, in that case, I should be able to do this now. Uh, this. P. And uh, this, whatever this was. Okay. Okay. Um, what if I do this now? S cells it's an action so i am okay this needs to be bigger <laughs> yeah so the concat thing will go in another folder if this thing works i guess <laughs> okay s next let's run this now it's next and give we give it a point which is let's say 10 comma or if we're adding it, it makes sense for it to be uh, 1 comma 2 or 0 comma 1. Yeah, that works. Cannot take the sum of a point. What? Oh. Oh, so this only works for single... Oh, that sucks. Can I change this to work with both of these? No. It should work for both of them. Yes, yeah, some doesn't work with um, points, but there is no point here. Oh, there is actually. Summation, we're giving it that. Yeah, I know, I know. It's tough being a dog. You must complain loudly. Wanted to join file list. I don't see why this should wouldn't work. Cannot take some of a point. 
I wish that made sense to me. Oh. Um yeah. Yeah, that actually kind of does make sense. Why would it be able to sum a value here? Sum a point here. So what can we do to concatenate or repend? Oh, actually we can't do this at all. Yeah, I don't know why I thought this would be possible. So cells, we go from one to S grid minus one S square or uh, or G list. I think that's the one, right? How did we create? Yeah, G list. Minus one G list. Okay. Hundred point. Are you okay? Is there something I can help you with? Ozzy. Oh yeah, I've got three followers total now. I got one yesterday. So you know what that means, right? I'm famous. Yes, yes, these celebrities ask me for my autograph next time. What is wrong with you, mister? What am I doing wrong? Oh, everything actually, yeah, forgot about that. So, is there something I can help you with? Oh, okay, okay, I, th I think right in the middle of my sentence here. Yes, I know, I know. It's emotional sometimes. So, yes, what I was thinking was, what if I, okay, I no longer remember what I was thinking. Oh, yes, uh, what if I created a list of indexes? Uh, oh, I think G list is a list of indexes, so that works for me. Um... Yes, so I can use G list. <laughs> For each of them. <laughs> oh my god. Why is too much? Okay. So G list. Mm. Uh, what was I thinking? What was I thinking? There was something, some thought in my head, but it's gone now. Um, L. So, okay, no. L equals S cells. Or um, G list is greater than one. The G list is greater than one which means the item inside G list is greater than one. One second, let me just ask him what's wrong.
think he was just feeling warm. <laughs> it's still going. Yeah, this will be a little bit more difficult than I thought. That's fine. <laughs> so, what I was thinking was, yes, um, so G list would give me each item or uh, each index that I need to deal with. So I can do G list. Wait, G list starts with zero. So I'll have to add one here because it's one index. So S tells. Okay, so if, <laughs> if the index is oh just a second, I'm getting a call. I'm back again. So many interruptions. Okay, what was I saying? <laughs> what was I thinking? Um, S, just one second. Yeah. Uh, S, so if the index is greater than one, I give it whatever L uh, P okay uh, and if I give it the the cell and if it's not which is the first index I just give it the point so this basically is S next actually so I can just move this whole thing here I believe let's try it let's uh, where is S cells? Yeah. So here we should see 0 0.1 being prepended to this list when I hit this. Oh, it worked, but I got two of these. Oh, right, right, right. So uh, G list is one zero indexed. G1 is one index. Maybe we can just do um, G index equals G list minus one. Right, because now we have zero indexed. Oh, sorry, this is zero indexed. I need to do plus one. We have one indexed items now. So here, instead of doing G list, it will be it will be much cleaner as well as uh, much more correct to do this now. Uh, yeah, there it is. So now, if I hit uh, S next again. I get oh that didn't work let's reset it again it's next yes we got 0 comma 1 but now it doesn't work okay did I do something Um, oh, okay, 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 okay. So, uh, right. So here, we've got, um, right now what we're doing in S next is uh, for each, okay, so we're just inserting a value in the first position. What we want to do is shift the rest of the values ne to the next position and, or maybe minus one minus one because we are moving it forward so let's try this now so here we need we should get 0, 0, 0.0,1 again yes and again and again and again it keeps going we've done it actually we have done nothing yet but we've <laughs> we've got it we've figured out <laughs> list concatenation 
count that as an achievement. Yes, we've got another action here. Press next. We didn't need this. Don't need this either yet. Okay, so now let's write S eat. Right, so S eat. What does S eat need? Uh, S eat needs. Actually, no. Uh, S next is not this. S next would be. Mm, S next would need a direction. Actually, let, let's let's forget that. Let's implement S eat eat first. I get distracted way too much, way too easily. Um, S eat is so for S eat, what we need is to okay, let's close this, let's make this bigger. Yes, for S eat, what we're doing now is we move the values to next and we add a value to S active and we increment S active. Right? Because we are adding an element to the end. So let's do that. We can do the same thing now. We've figured out the secret. <laughs> this is how you do it. Um, actually, let's keep it P for now because would it be P? No, actually, this would. Yeah, this, this is fine. We move it. And we do S active is S active plus one. Okay. Why, why is that wrong? Can you explain? Cannot use a point and a number as the branches in. Okay. I'm confused. Help. If I remove this, it's not fine. Why is it not? Oh, P. P is not defined. Yeah. Okay. Um. Um. We are eating okay so here we just need to do zeroth index right because or one i guess <laughs> because we're moving everything i feel like i'm doing something very simple very wrong have i just forgotten how to write a snake game at this point <laughs> Um S let's let's just continue doing this. S active arrow S active plus one. So S active should go up. These two are the pieces of state. Okay, again, Ozzy, can you stop annoying me? Sit down. Oh boy. Stay. He just needs some scratches. He's tired from a long day of being a dog. It's it's stressful, you know. Um okay, let's run this and see if we get if we get something that we expect. <laughs> Okay, S active went to two. That's great. And actually, we've got zero zeros here, so this does make sense. Uh, let's do G list. G list. And I think I already need to specify it here. Yeah. So here we'll be able to see that zero point zero comma zero stays there. So if I do. Where was it? A seat. No. Wait, why did I define it twice? No, I don't need that. 
yes, zero comma zero keeps repeating in the front. Okay, I think we've fucked it. <laughs> Why is the snake going back? This will take some time. One second, I need to get my dog to stop biting my hand. Oh, he's having his treat right now. Note to self, only stream when the dog is asleep. All right. Um, where was I? The question that I have no answer to ever. Reset. Okay, so... Um, I'm a little confused as to why this isn't moving because oh okay okay yeah it's just zero zero so it wouldn't move um, let's make these uh, five let's just have it at the center Let's reset. And this guy is also five. This doesn't matter, right? Because it can't be. Or, yeah, this can't be uh, zero. This can't be less greater than zero. So it will default to five. No, wait, what? What did I... How does this work? <laughs> exactly. G less each item is greater than zero. So should it always go to zero? I'm not questioning it. I've learned not to question life. Let's do index here. 
so we're not using glist as much uh, for things that are not drawing sit done oh another break The stream is not going the way I expected. <laughs> Every five seconds there's a break. My god, too many interruptions. Um Okay my My mouse pad is getting all lobbered up because of my dog licking it. Great. Can you just sit down please? Okay, I'm just I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna focus on this and nothing else. Um, where's the reset button? Where's the reset button? Yeah, here it is. Okay, so now it did what I expected it to do. That is weird. Okay. Oh, maybe it's because. Oh, so if I do list. Would that bring it? Oh no! So it depends on the thing. The yeah, I, I'm I'm not going to bother. I'm not going to bother. <laughs> this is too much. There's too many things to think about. Um, yes. So I'm eating. That didn't change anything. Uh, what happened? So yes, S next. So here, when I call S next, I mean I don't call X next. I guess Aussie again with your bullshit, Mister. Don't you have taxes to file? Please go and do your dog things somewhere else. S next. There, go hump the pillow there. Come on. Why are you? Why are you annoying me? Just sit down. Relax. Relax. No need to be so annoying. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm just gonna <laughs> type with one hand and push him away with another. Let's eat. Yes, he ate and he brought it to zero zero. That makes sense. So, uh, what we now need is direction. Everyone needs direction in life. And and uh, the snake needs a direction to walk towards. So, let's also add that. Direction. What would direction be? You ask. Glad you asked, Ozzy. Uh, it's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Does that make sense? Um, yeah, yeah, it's either zero or it's three, or actually zero or uh, one to four. Aussie, come on, sit down, sit, Aussie, sit. Good boy, high five. That's a good boy, business handshake. Good boy. Good boy, the deal is closed. You can leave now. Alright. S direction is 1. Which means it's walking towards the left side. Um, Should we have... Come on, Aussie. I feel like um, maybe 
it would be easier to sum points. Can we add two points together? 5 comma 5 plus 0 comma 1. Where is that guy? I can't see him. Yes, this one. 5 comma 5 is not really that helpful. Let's do 1 comma 1. Yes, it's 0 comma, no, 1, 1 comma, 1 comma 2, yes. Indeed, Aussie, Aussie, yay, yay, we can add two points, yay, finish it. Okay, I'm just gonna end street, I can't deal with this, it's too much, it's too much, it's too much. I'll, I'll stream again maybe in the afternoon tomorrow continue this thing this is fun no i mean dealing with him while doing this is not fun but this project by itself is fun desmos is fun so i'll get back to this okay as is tradition i have to procrastinate on this screen before i end stream Is it time to say goodbye? Yes, it is. I will miss you. Stop streaming. Stop biting, dude. Chill, chill. I'll play with you. Just chill, chill. Yes, yes. Goodbye. <laughs>